Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. In this video we're going to show how to streamline your workflows in the assets area of build. So often people use the extraction of assets by either creating them individually or importing them uh, from an Excel file. I'm going to show you the third way which is massive feature and functionality within the Autos Construction Cloud and it's to extract the assets from the models that you create and you upload into ACC. So the first thing you need to do is create your category. So in the top right hand corner you'll come over to settings, click on settings and go to categories. From here you'll create your category and for this example I'll use the doors option. Now when you select the doors option you choose the status set and the status set is what life cycle that asset is going to go through. Now you can create your own different status set inside here and you can click on the drop down and you can select one inside here. So for example inside here I have a default one created. Now you could choose to create your own custom ones and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So once I go create I come over to status sets and if I wanted to create my own custom status set I can go create and I can populate that life cycle. But you can see the life cycle that these doors are going to go under inside here. So once you have the category created and you're happy with the status set, you can go into your models area. Inside your models area, you choose the file that you want to extract the assets from. So this is my architect's model inside here. Once you select it, you'll go map assets and you'll select what category you want those assets to go under. So I go map assets to the doors option inside here. And inside here, then you're setting up your rules and how these assets are going to be extracted. So the most typical way inside here is, again, it goes shows all the properties inside in Revit, but if you search for one, so Revit, you can go either by the category of doors, by the specific family name, or the family type. So if I go category, and if I keep this at equals, I can then choose what type of family I want to extract. So I want to extract all doors that are inside in this project. So when I go show results now, it might take a few seconds or a minute depending on how many assets it's going to extract from you. So inside here now that's generating all the doors that are from this project. Now I could be specific and I could select on an individual Revit family name and I could copy and paste this in. I can ex just extract out this one asset but I want to extract out all doors and you can see there's 87 assets. So when I go save now Next, you can see that from here then, I'll just go next to map assets. So that's just confirming how many assets are going to be extracted and to where. And then you can see the information that I want to get out of this. So the name is going to match the name and the family. Description then I want to maybe match the description that's in the family too. So I can search for that. So you can see description under identity data is description. If I wanted to get the location, maybe I could say the level that this is associated to. So you can see dimensions level. And you can see all the other properties inside here. So I might go base level inside there. And when I go save now, it's going to pull that information from the family as well and populate it into the asset information inside an ACC. So click on save. And finally, then that's just confirming those. So I go next. And again, that's loading that information. It's going to extract it out. And when that's validated, then I'll be allowed to import those assets. So again, it's extracting out all those 87 assets. So I'll go import. And in the bottom right hand corner, you can see that it's completed that now. So when I go back into assets, select back on the doors category, you can see those 87 doors now inside here. So again, if I select on any one of those, you can see that then I can pass that through the specific life cycle of that status set inside here. So I can track those assets. I could associate forms and review forms or pre and post checklists associated with that by going to references, clicking in the drop down and going adding any of these information into that particular asset. So if you enjoyed this video, please stay tuned for more videos on how you can streamline your ACC workflows. Thank you.